Hi everyone, this is Gary D. Tonicor from MotherToSnapshot.com. Today I want to talk about Luminar 3 and more specifically using Luminar 3 as a plugin for Lightroom or for Photoshop. So my goal would be able to still use Lightroom as my main catalog, be able to round trip, send my file from Lightroom to Luminar just to do a couple of things. I really like the AI accent filter. I really like the sky enhancing filter. So sometimes I just want to send a photo over there to do a couple of those adjustments and then send it right back to Lightroom. So I haven't done this yet and I'm about to try it. I'm going to show you how to do it and we'll see kind of together if it works well or not. So let's head over to the program and take a look. So first I have to come over to Illuminar 3 to the file menu and come down to install plugins. Then you'll see that it gives me the option to install the plugin for Photoshop and for Lightroom. So the one I'm mostly interested in is Lightroom. I'm going to click install on that first and it was very quick and easy. It didn't take any time at all. Then I'm going to install Photoshop and it says you'll need to run Luminar 3 as an administrator to install Adobe Photoshop application. We'll restart your system and ask your administrator pass. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So it's going to install that into Photoshop and it may ask me to restart. So it's restarting Luminar right now. Okay, Luminar is back up. So I'm gonna minimize Luminar for a minute and I'm gonna go over to Lightroom. I'm gonna start up Lightroom and see if I can send a file from Lightroom to Luminar and back again. All right, once I find a photo in Lightroom that I want to edit in Luminar, all I have to do is come over to the File menu, come down to Export with Preset, come over to Luminar 3. I can open the source file or I can edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustments. So I want to edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustments. You can see here it's going to upload the photo to Luminar. Luminar is opening up. It should, if it uses the regular settings I have set in Lightroom, send a TIFF file over. Okay, here it is. It's opening in um, Luminar. So now I'll do some basic things. I have the quick and awesome um, edit space open. So I want to use the Accent AI filter and see if that can brighten it up a little bit. And um, there's no sky, so I wouldn't use the sky enhancing filter. It might add a little bit of vibrance, a little bit of clarity. And I'm going to add a filter, and I'm going to use a uh, denoise filter. And all right, that's looking noise free. That's looking nice and sharp. I can always crop it later in Lightroom. Let's try something creative though. We have Brilliance and Warmth, Cross-Processing, Dramatic. First, let's try Brilliance and Warmth. It can add or take away saturation. This is probably not the filter for this photo, so I'm gonna not use that one. Um, let's try Dramatic. Oh, all right. Dramatic has an interesting effect. It's really clarifying things, making things pop. All right, so I like that. I've made a couple of edits that I like. Now let's see how we can send it back to Lightroom. Um, there is an apply button up here at the top, so that should export the image back to Lightroom. Okay, so it did send it back to Lightroom easily enough. I had to go and find it though, because so often when any program sends a TIFF file back to Lightroom, if you're not actually clicked on the folder name, sometimes it's hard to find that TIFF file. Sometimes Lightroom will default to previous import and you don't even know it was on previous import and then you're looking for this TIFF file that came in and it's not there. So usually when that happens, you have to come back to your list of folders and click on the actual folder where the photos are located and that will show you the updated film strip of where the photos are. So here is my photo 
Uh, I can tell because it says um, edit TIFF in the file name, which is the one that was sent over to Luminar. So I'm going to call this one a pick, and then I'm going to come over to my develop module and give it a final crop. I like kind of the way it is. I don't need to see the rain gutter. I want to see that little sign. All right, and I don't really want to see all of that. So I think I might switch it to a 16 by 9 crop. And I'll try to center this as uh, much as I can. Just getting the windows and uh, like I said, I do want to get, if I'm going to have that sign, I need to have all of it. Okay, so I guess that will be my crop. And there are a couple of hot spots here, so I'm going to take the highlights down a little bit. So those uh, lights are not so blown out. And I'll move the clarity up a little bit, move the vibrance up a, a little bit. And um, let's see if it needs contrast. Well, contrast would make it very dark. So I'm going to leave it on linear. I'm going to add a little bit more noise reduction. It was shot at a fairly high ISO. So I added some noise reduction in Luminar and some here in Lightroom. I'd like to see the front part of the steps to be a little bit brighter. So I'm going to use a graduated filter. And I'm going to make the exposure a bit brighter. Maybe give it a little bit of clarity, a little bit of sharpness. All right, and then I am going to add a vignette. I'm going to bring the highlights down just a little bit more. And I'm going to check out the sharpening. This was not sharpened, so I'm going to give it some sharpening with quite a bit of masking. I just want the edges to be sharpened. To do that, I held down Alt and clicked on the masking slider. And now as I look at it, it looks a little bit yellow. Uh, I like the warm tone, but let's see if we cool that off a little bit. It should have a little bit of a warm glow, but not a lot. Okay, and so that will be my final image. So it worked pretty easily to go from Lightroom to Luminar and then back again. And I'll export that and I'll put it in my blog post. You can see it down below at morethanasnapshot.com. Now, if you want to know more about Lightroom or about uh, Luminar 3, you can head over to morethanasnapshot.com and you can check out my four course bundle. Right now I'm offering my top four selling courses on sale till Christmas and Luminar 3 and Lightroom are part of that bundle. So I hope you check it out and I hope to see you in the next video.